Now, meeting Lin-Manuel, I mean, you guys worked on In the Heights, but do you remember that meeting? <laughs> do I remember that meeting? Yes, I remember that meeting. I met Lin one time about maybe a month before we came to the bookshop, for like 10 minutes up at Wesleyan. And I invited him to come and talk about In the Heights. This was in May of 2002. He hadn't thought about it in two years. It was the only thing I was thinking about for the previous two years because I'd gotten a copy of the score and the script from my pals who had seen it, uh, John and Neil. And so I had two years worth of information in my head and he thought we were coming to have a cup of coffee and I just didn't stop talking. And about three hours in, he's like, I'm hungry, can we go eat? And we ended up talking for five or six hours. And I think in that early conversation, he saw, oh, we're simpatico. There, there's something about this, <laughs> this, this strange guy with a lot of hair that he sees what I see and he's not trying to fix something that's broken. And I, I went into that conversation only wanting to try to amplify and help you know, create and support and elicit whatever inspiration was coming from that, you know, that, ins you know, like that, that little spark that he had, that little inspiration that made him want to tell a story about this neighborhood that he loved so much. And so the fact that you know, within 24 hours of this shop opening, that movie opens all across the world is, uh, you know, it's both perfectly symmetrical and also uh, pretty unbelievable.